I don't trust druids, rangers, or other so-called balance of nature fools. For that matter, I don't trust paladins or other self-styled good heroes of Toril. I've caught several of them in my lifetime that lied about their so-called good nature. They had their own dark secrets that they were desperate that no one know. A murdered friend by their hand. A lie about their deeds. It's all just a front to deceive the commoner that they are trustworthy and will look out for you. I also know this because I pretended to be one quite a few times. In fact, that is what I'm doing right now. There are no good people out there, just liars and thieves and people stupid enough to believe them. They hunt us who claim not to be good and root us out. But in truth, that is just an excuse to eliminate those who are in their way. I don't believe in legitimate benign altruism. Everyone is out for themselves in this world. All I believe is shades of grey. Some shades I don't want to end up in in the afterlife. There are certainly places much worse than others and that's about it. I hate that these goodly adventuring heroes get praise for their deeds when all it is is a lie that they made the gullible believe. A so-called good queen or king uses this excuse to do bad things to people that oppose them and let a segment of their people suffer as a result. Yes, there are laws, and as far as I see it, the only laws worth following are those of your church and your god. All other laws of kingdoms and empires are made to be broken. I owe no allegiance to a noble or monarch. I owe it only to the Dark Lady, and before her to Bane. Everyone out there is to gain at the expense of others, and being as good as I have been in my profession, I have made sure I rise to the top wherever I go. So talk of good versus evil is nonsense. The liars claim to be good and evil are declared bad only because they are in the way of the liars. I have exposed so-called good people as liars, and the commoners have turned against them. And I have seen so-called evil leaders rise to power and then call those who are good evil only as an excuse to eliminate them. I have seen bad people convince everyone they are good only to persuade the people the good or bad with this lie or that lie. It's all just a game. So as you can see, I am completely skeptical of this good and evil dichotomy. It doesn't exist. What does exist is getting what you can out of life at others' expense, and those who are willing to take the most are those who are most successful. We are in the nymph's lair, searching for the nymph herself. She may have answers that can help us to free the Neverwinter Wood of the spirit or lack of spirit that's turned everything hostile. That looks like the nymph herself, actually. Ah, where's she going? Let's get this fight over with. No, I will not allow you to kill me. Nature's creatures must be protected. Now you are mine. Foolish man. I don't know why you thought you could just steal into my house, kill my slaves, and destroy another of nature's protectors. Now you have fallen to my charms. Now bow to your mistress. <laughs> if you were trying to dominate me with your powers, you have failed. If you want to die, just... Try to pull that again. No! How is this possible? What has happened to my powers? I've been attacked several times in your home. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you now. You... You mean you didn't come here to destroy me? Hmm. Of course not. I came here looking for a way to help the spirit of the wood. Oh, this is terrible. I'm so sorry, but I was certain that you... Oh, I don't know why I thought of that now. There's nothing I can do to make up for this. I was wrong. How is that possible? You were here to kill me. That was what I thought the moment I felt your presence near my tree. I... I just wanted to stop you. Could you ever forgive me? <sighs> That's a pretty horrible mistake. I can't forgive you. But I won't hurt you unless you try something again. I will do as you command. I only wish I had some way to make it up to you. Without my powers, there's very little I can do. 
How long have you been having trouble? A couple of weeks ago, I was down by the river, watching the fish jump, when I felt the presence of danger. I looked around, then scrambled up the bank and into a grove of trees. I couldn't see anything, yet the fear kept growing. Suddenly, there was a scream in my mind that felt like someone had stabbed a dagger into my brain. I was overcome by the power of it, and I fell to the ground unconscious. When I woke up, the fear was still there, and the sense that the whole forest was in pain. What could have caused that? It was the spirit of the wood. I have been sensing its pain and fear ever since that day. It is constantly screaming for help. It is all I can do to keep my sanity. Indeed, I guess you have experienced just how I am losing that battle. As time passed, I began to keep myself closer to home, until recently I have not even been able to leave my room, so great is the fear. Hmm. If it's so bad, then why don't you leave? It is not so simple as that. This tree is my home. I have been here for centuries. I feel as though every person who comes along is a danger to both my home and myself. The first time a person came near my tree, I took him with my power and kept him to guard my home. The next few were easy too, but they started to get harder and harder. Now I have no power left as you can see. I don't know what to do now. Hmm. To do my job. I need to get to the spirit of the wood. Can you help me? I don't think that's possible. The spirit is a creature of both life and death, and only he can enter the portal to the other realm. What does that mean, both life and death? The spirit lives on another realm, somewhere between this world of the living and the world of the dead. It is the only creature on this plane who can enter the portal. The portal is in a pool below a waterfall, but finding it won't help you. It wouldn't help anyone. Hmm. Are you sure that the spirit is the only creature to ever enter the pool? Well, several have tried, but no. That's not a good solution. Forget it. The spirit is the only one who can do so successfully. Tell me what you're going to say, or you'll be sorry you didn't. You don't have to threaten me. I told you I would do as you command. There was a druid a long time ago who claimed he had figured out how to enter the spirit's realm. He said he had been studying it for years and had finally pieced it together. He didn't tell me how he was going to enter, but I was curious, so I followed him. He went to the pool and built an altar. But then he did the strangest thing. He took out a dagger and plunged it into his own chest. His body slipped below the surface of the water, but when I went over to the pool, it was gone. Maybe he made it to the realm, but if he was dead when he got there, I'm not sure it was worth it. Others have tried it through the years, but their bodies just lay there, decomposing. Well, most of the others. What do you mean, most of the others? This is important. A dwarf came here a few weeks ago. He was fierce and mean and seemed immune to my charms. He asked me about the dagger that the druid had used to kill himself. I don't know how he knew about the druid, but I had kept the dagger as a keepsake of the druid. When he threatened me, I gave it to him. I never saw the dwarf again, but shortly before everything started going wrong in the forest, I found the dagger in front of the altar. Was the dwarf's body in the pool? No, now that you mention it, his corpse wasn't there. I need that dagger, do you have it? I brought it back here, but I don't remember where I put it, because the pain hit me before I made it back here. I'm sure it's somewhere in my house, though. If you look around, you should be able to find it. But you shouldn't use it. I don't want another death on my hands. They are so bloody already. Hmm. Is there anything else that you can tell me that might help? I can't think of anything else that would help, but I will answer any questions you have. What do you know about the witch Satara? Oh, she is a terribly ugly old crone. You don't want to have anything to do with her. I can't even bear to look on her, so I refuse to allow her anywhere near my tree. I don't even like to talk about her. It disturbs me that much. She's that ugly, huh? On the other hand, you are the opposite of that. Is there anything else I can do? That's all I can think of for now. Farewell. Good luck in your quest. I am truly sorry for the harm I brought you and for the death of my slaves, for which I am wholly to blame. Yeah. Not that I care. Treaties on the Spirit of the Wood. Oh, this must be the dagger I'm looking for. Ceremonial dagger. The blade of this dagger, shaped like a flame, is cold to the touch. Yet the hilt, looking like a skeleton, feels warm. While it isn't much of a weapon, it 
obviously has a symbolic or ceremonial purpose. Have to take that mirror of vanity, which this is about. The magic mirror of vanity offers the viewer an image of themselves that is incredibly attractive. In fact, the image is so perfect that many viewers become lost in the illusion, believing themselves to hold greater physical charms than they truly do. Would this be what I need to give to the witch Satara? And a copper ring. Treaties on the Spirit of the Wood This musty old tome appears to be the type of book that was written and never read. It is a long, boring text written by a druid, Georgius Cani Getafix III, several hundred years ago. He uses large, complicated, and often seemingly meaningless words to discuss his observation on the spirit of the Neverwinter Wood. One page in the text has been earmarked, and there is a small comment beside an underlined passage in the margin. This could mean that if one stood in the pool below the waterfall and somehow died, one could reappear alive, presumably, in the realm of the spirit. Uh, that's what I have to do to get to the spirit. Before I do something like that, I probably should go see the Satara. Maybe she has more information. But once I get to the spirit of the wood, what does it matter? I have no way of healing it or calming it or whatever. So it would be foolish to go and kill myself to get there. And that's everything in this whole place. Well, let's go out. Now, now we have to find the witch. I have the means to make her think that she's beautiful. And that should make her happy. Hopefully happy enough to tell me what I need to do to help the spirit of the wood. If she even knows, but it's the only thing I have to go on now. Wherever she lives. I also would like to know where this waterfall is exactly. Druid camp, right this way. Bull strength, quartz crystal. Your end. Another Rose animal to kill. Ha. I love this part. <laughs> Potion of Aid, Quartz Crystal. What's this headstone. Here lies Kend, beloved of Henna, one with the spirit. Why does that sound familiar to me? Alright, that's gonna bother me. Have I met a Kend or Ken a a Kend or Henna. A witch has to live here around here somewhere. Ah, dead end. The wood is very thick around here. Well, if you want to know where the waterfall is, you have to follow the water. If it comes out from the mountain to the north, it's, the waterfall has to be ahead. Or it could be right here. be the right waterfall. The water continues ahead. Deer. <laughs> Prepare to pray. Go 
goes back into the mountain. Another boar. <laughs> Prepare to become <gasps> one. There! and sword. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I was a mage. But that'll sell for good gold. Healer's kit. Not the best, but pretty good. Where does this witch live? Well, there's no waterfall, no witch this way. Let's continue on to the last part of the forest. I spotted a cave over this way. Hmm. Large skulls. Maybe she lives in there. Kill my wolf. Some of these dire boars are really tough. Tough. <clears throat> Deeper into the Neverwinter Woods. That may not be the witch's home. It could just be a cave full of trolls, which would make more sense. of the nymph's home. <laughs> Tell you the truth, if that's how you live in the woods, it's not a bad way to live. Huge extensive home inside like that. Alright, let's try this cave. I'm actually doubting it's where the witch lives now, but we'll see. Maybe ogres or trolls live there. Or maybe the witch lives here. I don't know. Oh, this is really reminding me of trolls. We have an edder cap over there. Poisonous. Alright, let's do this. Ah. Oh. That went down quickly. And I'm not poisoned. Ettercap silk gland. Cocoon. Topaz. Ah, spiders. Tommy's poisoned. Not good. Of course, they're very tough, some large spiders. We're going to have to go and rest. I didn't memorize. Uh, Spells to resist poison. Lightning arrow. We're gonna have to return and rest soon. Gold quartz crystal. Gold. Copper ring.
Huh. Some kind of armor. Leather type. I think it's enchanted. So... Hmm. Probably sell for good coin. I think we... Did we get this? Potion of cure critical wounds. Always welcome. Um, this path down here. I thought this is the way we came in. Maybe not. No, I just passed by that. Careful, the poison. There's more of these beasts over there. Tommy! Slow. Ah, I was hoping they wouldn't come. Alright. I have potions, so... <sighs> Ow. Tough creatures. Oh, lots of gold. Ah, Tommy. You're gonna get yourself killed. Ah! That's what potions are for. <laughs> you know what? You're pretty good in a fight. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to rest, and I probably should sell these excess items. Alright. Let's bring a little bit of help. Shadow, come. Ah. Another extensive place to search through. Full of spiders and all that. They don't really bother me, it's just their poison. Potion of aid. Let's go. Spiders. Your end, Grodd. Hmm. None of us took a scratch. Healer's kit. gold. 19 gold. 29 gold. Somebody has a thing for nines. Ah. My shadow found something. Just explore this area after. Corpse. A rotting corpse. Disgusting. Pile of stones. Remove blindness and deafness. And a quartz crystal. Another rotting corpse. Gold ring on it. Alright, maybe we'll go there after. Let's search this area. Maybe it'll even wrap around. Did I get this? I did not. Magic wand and a silver necklace and one of the denizens has come out to play with us.
are spiders. Ow. Another dead corpse. Ha! Another corpse. By its name, it's already dead. Pile of stones and some gold and a quartz. Boots of Striding. May not need it. Ah, wait. I might. Gives a, con has an, a constitutional enchantment. It's better than what I'm using, actually. There we go. Very nice. Kill it. Been slowed. Through its web, it threw me. Ah! ah! I'm entangled. Kill it, please. Corpse ahead. Told me might need help. Can't move. Could I use my my sling? Might be too far. Uh, I'm starting to pull loose. Ah, there we go. It's a queen spider. The lucky Tommy's still alive. Ah! Alright. War powers. Die now, spider. Could use some more help. I have an antidote, though. Ha! Huh. Your poison won't work on me. Fighter told me. Amazed that you actually survived that until I got to help. Alright, let's search the area. Maybe there'll be something. There's a person. He's still alive. Pleased to see you. Oh, good. Thank you for unraveling me from that cocoon. I thought I was dead for sure. Uh I'm it's too dangerous in here for me to worry about you. You'd better get out on your own. I will in a moment, but for now I just need to clear my head of the spider's poison. Could you please sit with me until I'm up to leaving? Shouldn't take too long. Uh, Alright. Who are you? My name is Orlin. I'm a druid who was sent by my leader at will to find out what is wrong with the spirit of the wood. <laughs> so you're one of the druids I was looking for. Glad I found you. I'm glad you found me too. I must mean the will sent you. Thank the balance for our will. He is a strong leader. How did you get captured? I was sent into the wood to find out why the creatures were attacking everyone. I tried talking to a deer in one clearing, but the poor thing's mind was so confused that it attacked me. You were attacked by a... Ha, mm. huh, so the deer kicked your butt, huh? It's not funny. I would have been ready for an attack if it had been a wolf or a bear, but nobody expects to be attacked by a deer. It came right at me, and I tried to dodge, but it caught me in the side with a hoof. It reared up to strike me again, but then it suddenly turned and ran off. I got up to try and follow, but then I heard a soft chittering sound behind me. I turned around, and before I even saw what was happening, something soft with long hairy legs and mandibles leapt on top of me. Huh. Well, it's pretty easy to figure out what that was. The spiders attacked you on the surface, huh? I didn't even know what it was at first. 
I felt the thing bite me, and suddenly the entire world started to spin. Next thing I knew, I was in here, all wrapped up. I was just waiting to feel another bite when you came along and set me free. Again, thank you so very much. Now I need to find my companion druids and see if we can figure out what to do about the spirit of the wood. Tell me what you've learned about the spirit of the wood. Well, it's obvious that something is severely wrong with the spirit of the wood. It seems to have gone crazy. Usually the spirit enters and exits the wood through a pool in the north part of the forest. But from what I could gather, the spirit hasn't been seen for a while. Tell me more about this pool. The pool is some kind of entrance to another realm where the spirit usually lives. I have the slightest idea what the other realm looks like, though. Hmm. Yes. Do you know... Has anybody told you anything about this other realm? It's just that it's another plane of existence. The pool acts as a portal to this other place. I don't know much about the pool, except a few legends. I do know that no living creature can get through the portal and into the other realm. According to an old druid I once met, the portal exists between the realms of life and death. The spirit exists as some sort of half-life, so it can go through the portal at will, but we can't. Hmm. You better be feeling better. You should go get going. I should be fine now. Again, I can't thank you enough for your assistance. Good luck. Good luck and be careful out there. Ice bullets. Are you going to leave or what? Double axe. Can't use it, but it's enchanted. Should sell for a good amount of coin. Alright, everybody out of the way. I don't know if there's going to be any more spiders in here, but... We're going to go searching this way on our way out. Potion of Cure Moderate Wounds. Another pile of skulls. Never did get to this corpse. Eagle Splendor, huh? Ooh, that's a big edder cap. Your ah. draws nigh. Kill the Edder Cap, Tommy. Uh, he can't move either. Last fireball. Hmm. Starting to get really nice uh, equipment coming across. Of course, I'd like to I'd sell it all to get nice, nicer equipment for myself. And what's over here? Another corpse. Topaz. Well, these gems are selling for pretty good gold too, so. I think the spiders would have all this. The, um... The rats taken care of. But apparently not. There's rats all over the walls. Ah, you killed my boar. There's rats all over the place. Another cocoon. 
amulet, unidentified. Scroll of Restoration, Potion of Bark Skin, and I can't move. Can you move? I love this part! Get it, stupid Endercap. Sapphire in that corpse. And that's it then. Well, we found another druid at least. One more to go. Still, none of this really has anything to do with the cult, but the cult may have done something to the spirit of the forest. Which I'm kind of suspecting. So, to the east, deeper into the Neverwinter Wood. You want to play, do you? Playtime's over. What's this, a bear now? Dire bear versus a dire wolf. Ah. Ouch. Ah. Definitely not weak. Jeez, that hurts. That's a lot better. All right, now what, dear? No, this is a camp here. Maybe we'll find out who was here for what happened to them. Unidentified potion, huh? Spirit poison. A poison to kill, kill the spirit of the wood. Found at a campsite in the Neverwinter Wood? Interesting. Well, if I have to do it. Locked. I uh, it's done. Healer's kit. All right, but there's no information about why somebody would set up a camp here with a poison to kill the spirit of the wood. No, oh, isn't that strange? Guess this isn't the waterfall either. Must be a special waterfall. Bridge. Let's explore everything on this side first. Sun's rays are just coming through the trees above. Another cave. I love this part. This one doesn't look so primitive. Maybe the witch lives in there. Ah, a bear came after all. Ah! I'm gonna use a healer kit after this. If I need it, maybe I don't. The first one was really tough. Dead end. Uh, did we go up here? Okay. Well, there's that bridge. Right, let's go this way towards that bear I saw in the distance. Explore everything first, then we'll try the cave. Yeah. Uh. 
Oh, this looks like the waterfall. And there's a body there. An ancient altar covered in grotesque carvings, bloodstains, some fairly recent, and surrounded by bones looms ominously beneath the waterfall. Let's leave it for now. At least we know where it is. I don't think there's much left of the woods to explore. That cave probably, unless I come across a house, belongs to the witch. Just a deer. Potion of lore, quartz crystal. What's this? Another cave. Well... Well, witch has to live around here somewhere. This one doesn't have any trappings of a civilized person. I doubt the witch lives here, but I could be wrong. Well, maybe I am wrong. Ah! What's this? Air elemental. I think we found the home of the witch. Four gold. Potted plant. Potion of cure critical wounds. What's this? Where'd you go, wolf? Is it invisible? Ah, uh, barely make it out. I love this part. Ah, he killed my wolf. I don't know if we can even touch this thing. It's there, though. You see its eyes. Tommy hit it. I hit it. We can hurt it. Just see its eyes. Hard to hit. It bleeds. Got it. I have no more... Things to summon to my aid, though. Well, Tommy kind of makes up for it. He's a really good fighter. Doors. The chest here. Ah! You want to open that? Hundred and fifty six gold. I think it's the most I've ever found in a chest. Alright, keep going. A door here. Storage, food, larder, sapphire, barrel, wine, piercing arrow. That's it. Out we go. Well, there's another door here. I have a feeling that probably leads towards Satana, though, but we're not here to kill her. Not unless we have to. We're here to get information. Because I have no idea what to do with the Spirit of the Wood once we actually get to it. Air Elemental. Ah, I think we have another invisible stalker. Where'd it go? There it is. See its eyes. Ah! Ah! You can see it when it's dead, it's locked. Oh, no, then it fades away. <laughs> Strange creatures. Oh, you're kind of a dream come true compared to what I was dealing with. Thankfully, I had the good sense to 
get Tomi again. The leadership of Neverwinter. Huh. Probably worth a read, actually. Or did I already read this? I think I read this, actually. The city of Neverwinter was originally founded by Lord Halloweth Never. This great lord was laid to rest, so local tavern tales swear on a huge slab of stone circled by a ring of naked swords laid with their points radiating outwards. These magic blades animate to attack all intruders if the precise instructions graven on encrypted verses on the flagstones are not followed. Nasher Alaglandar, or today Neverwinter is ruled by Lord Nasher Alaglandar. Alaglandar. An amiable and balding warrior who keeps the city firmly in the Lord's alliance. Lord Nasher has laid many intrigues and magical preparations against attacks from Neverwinter's warlike rival town, Luskin. Neverwinter doesn't allow maps of the city to be made. This is to keep the spies of Luskin busy and add... Where was I? Add a minor measure of difficulty to any Luskinite invasion plans. The royal badge of the city is a white swirl, a sideways M with points to the right. It connects three white snowflakes. Each flake is different, but all are encircled by silver and blue halos. Lord Nasher is always accompanied by his bodyguard, the Neverwinter Nine. These warriors are entrusted with the many magic items Nasher accumulated over a very successful decade of adventuring. Ah, just. Okay, okay. Well, I would think if anyone would have the tome I'm looking for, it would be the witch. Ah, uh, it's done. Antidote. It's all these spiders. I probably should hold on to it. Chest of drawers. Owl's wisdom. Another chest over here. Maybe I should look for traps. Getting a little tired of being caught by them. If anyone can see it, Tomi can. Oh. Almost walked right into one. You want to get rid of that? Sapphire. Ah, uh, it's done. Did I get that? I don't think I did. There's a cabinet here. Eighteen gold. Oh, uh, it's chest done. I missed completely. It's locked. Ah, uh, it's done. Silver ring. Ah, uh, it's done, huh? Well, it's kind of annoying to hear that a lot, but on the other hand, it's a good noise to hear. <gasps> Mephits! Ah, uh, this is not good. Come on, Tommy, I have to use your help. At least they die quickly. Stupid little things. But as annoying as those fairies. Twenty gold. Trapped. Come on. Disarm it. I'm tired of <laughs> triggering traps. Some of them have almost killed me. It's done. Sapphire. Oh, this place is quite extensive. It's going to take a while to get through. Maybe we should return and rest, then come back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.